Clothing Care Part 1 Best Laundry and Aeration Practices Hi everybody, it's Ingrid. Welcome to my little space here in YouTube. I'm an image consultant from the Philippines and I usually cover image management and style tips, communication, public speaking, and practical living. Today's topic is something I'm excited to present to you because it's a fusion of practical living and image management. Who among you here love to take care of your clothes? Raise your hands, leave it in the comment section as you're watching. Clothes are part of our nonverbal communication. They're part of our identity or personal brand and so we take Take extra care in selecting which clothes properly express and communicate who we are. When we keep that in mind, when we know that clothes are an extension of our personality, di ba we want to take care of it. Now, this doesn't mean that you encase your clothes only in specialized air-conditioned and vacuum-sealed rooms. I mean, that would be nice, but I'd say it's a luxury. The kind of environment we put our clothes in also matters in terms of longevity. The very basic would be, number one, aeration, meaning there has to be air circulation because you wouldn't want mold growing on your clothes. I mean, take it from me. I've experienced battling molds on clothes aside from the fact that they can trigger allergies. Some molds also have pigments that stain your clothes and that's quite tough to remove. On that note, the place also has to be dry, not damp. Because a damp environment is not a very good place for clothes to be in. It could be an environment where bacteria can multiply. It also has to be clean, tidy, and sanitized. Now, when it comes to clothing care, we cannot ignore the importance of laundry. I love doing the laundry. I'm a certified lavender or lavandera, however you want to put it. If it's a chore you don't adore, think of it this way. If you take a bath to care for yourself, remove dirt, grime, and germs on your body, think of doing the laundry as giving your clothes a bath. Since we wear our clothes, we sweat in them. They also get exposed to elements, to dirt, dust, grime, pollution, stains, as well as, of course, bacteria and viruses. You don't want all of that staying or residing in your precious clothes. So, syempre, you have to wash them, right? Use detergent for general cleaning and sanitation. So, rinse off the detergent. And then, of course, ako, my most favorite part is fabric conditioner. I enjoy fabric conditioner. I actually have an upcoming video of reviews on the fabric conditioner brands I've tried. I'm excited to share that with you. Now, once that's done, remove your clothes from the water. Squeeze the excess water, pop it in the dryer, and then you hang them out to dry for proper aeration. When it comes to drying clothes, I am an advocate of line drying, meaning you let the sun's rays and the natural air, the wind, completely dry and sanitize the clothes that you just laundered. Drying your clothes out in the sun and wind is better than always subjecting it to the hot temperature of the machine dryer because this can affect the longevity of your clothes fabric. Other than that, there's something about there's something about line dried clothes that puts me in such a happy place. Parang ang bango bango niya, basta iba yung iba yung amoy niya. I love it when I take down my lavada, tapos ang crispy or crunchy ng damit, kasi it's dry na. And the smell. If you use fabric conditioner and you line dry your laundry, parang mas mabango siya. Actually, even if hindi ka gumamit ng Fabcon, for example, you just line dry the clothes, the sun makes the clothes just smell so fresh. Compared to indoor drying, hello, kulo. During the rainy season, laundry can be a little challenging kasi hindi mo nga mapatuyo ng bongga yung clothes mo under the sun. Pero you also know that you can't let your laundry pile up. I mean, hello fellow housewives, do you feel me? For me, I just can't let the laundry pile up. That's a no-no for me. Apart from not having anything to wear, bacteria can grow in your laundry pile kasi remember, you have sweaty clothes. Clothes that come from outside kung saan saan ka nadikit. So you really cannot let laundry pile up. You have to give your clothes a bath. For rainy days when line drying clothes can be very challenging because of the back-to-back -back rains, you can use your dryer's heat setting kasi nga wala eh. Hindi mo mala line dry pagka umuulan. So this is a good time when you can actually put your dryer's heat setting to good use. Pag walang ganyang function yung dryer ninyo, if it's just spin dry, just like what we have here at home, then try Try to get as much water off the clothes. Make sure you hang clothes well. And if you're drying clothes indoors because of the rain, make sure the drying area gets ample air. Siguro you can set up an electric fan or two to help dry the clothes. Pero ang masasabi ko lang talaga iba pagka natuyo talaga yung clothes sa labas, pagka naarawan siya. I'm sure you've also heard of the terms iwas kulob or anti-kulob on some detergent and fabric conditioner products. I've tested some of them during the rainy season to really see if they deliver. Here's an update on the laundry situation. As I told you over the weekend, 
talaga nag indoor drying kami. We were forced to do it because nga umuulan. So now, we're gonna do the smell test of these clothes. Some disappointed me because they still smell nasty. Okay, amoy na natin. Bonk. Not very happy with the smell. There are hints of the conditioner, but... I'll compile the videos I took and share it here soon. One thing's for sure, line dry clothes are really different from when you just dry your clothes indoors. So there you have it. We've covered washing, giving the clothes a bath, soaking in pleasant smelling fabric conditioner, and drying the clothes. Okay, sana kung lahat ng clothes natin wash and wear, but there's also that reality that we have to iron, fold, and hang. I'll discuss that in the next video, and I do hope that you learned something new from this video again. Give it a thumbs up if you love to do the laundry just like me and also share some of your laundry experience in the comment section. I'll see you all in the next video. Be teachable, keep learning, and always be humble.